hello guys it's Sally and welcome to today's video so today we're going to be working again on our ring bound journal last time we did the front and back covers and we've done the two insert pages so what we're going to do today I'm still following Wendy's tutorials Wendy made three little journals to go inside the ring binders so what I've done I've cut everything off camera because I really didn't think you'd want to sit and we watch me cut all these papers I've got all the measurements that we need here at the side of me I will try and remember to put them in the description box so you can go back and have a look if you like so what you need first let's just take one of them apart because we can do them one by one so we need a little cover for our journal so you want to pick yourself a piece of paper either um, try and go for double sided if you can if you haven't got anything that's double sided then you could always put a piece of uh, coffee dyed paper on the inside if you wanted to I've just been in my stash and tried to find the most grungiest pieces of double sided that I've got really now this piece for your cover needs to measure seven and a quarter by nine and a half inches okay so that's your journal cover then you want some pages to go in your journal I've done ten in total I think it was a bit ten or nine one two three four five six seven yeah I've done ten so I'm not going to put much I wouldn't put much more than that in if you're going to stitch it I'm going to use my sewing machine to stitch it so obviously I want to sew down the middle so you want your papers to go inside and you want them to measure seven inches by eight inches because they have to fit inside your cover and obviously they've not got to be wider than our you know um cover they've got to fit inside you then want what we're going to do is we're going to put a little spine on the journal cover so we can put our eyelets in the spine it'll make more sense when I show you what Wendy did and for this piece of spine you want it seven and a quarter by one inches so you want your, your papers seven and a quarter by nine and a half you want your papers for inside seven inches by eight inches and then you want this little bit of a spine which is seven and a quarter by one inches so what we're going to do is I'm just going to grab my sewing machine down because it's just on my shelf here then I don't have to stop I'm just going to put it at the side of me there and then I can we can stitch them right so what Wendy did was I'm going to have that as the outside of my cover so she folded it over and she left approximately an inch there now I am going to see if I can measure it uh, you don't have to be you know yeah that's roughly an inch so then she folded it over and she just used a bone folder just to get the creases like that okay so you've folded it over you've left about an inch at that side and then this spine bit what she did was she folded it in half it might have been easier if I'd have scored this in half to be honest but I'm going to try and fold it and see if I can I should have scored it really if you want to score it it might make life a bit easier for you this is quite thick scrapbooking paper that I've used but I wanted the journal covers to be quite robust you know so I'm just gonna use my bone folder okay like so and then your spine bit here is going to be glued onto there like that and then that will become we'll put our eyelets in there and then our journals will be sewn in there so that will become our little journal so let me just fold these pieces over and let me just make sure that everything fits before I start gluing anything down I'm not going to do any fancy folding I'm just folding my papers in half if you want to fold them and put flip, flip in them or something that's entirely up to you I'm just going to fold all my papers just in half um, yeah I didn't think you'd want to sit and watch me cut all these papers it take it took me about 15 minutes to cut them all so it would have been a big chunk of the video just sat watching me cut papers and like I said if I remember I'll try and leave the measurements in the description box for you okay I've just used some coffee well some coffee dyed paper I've got a piece of graph paper that's a bit rungier on that side 
actually that's not folded very straight I didn't fold that straight enough right I've got a piece of coffee dyed uh, what do we call it squared paper little squares on and I've got a piece with lines on that is really grungy so I'm going to have that one right so I'm just going to put my papers together let's just put a couple and I'm just hoping that I've cut them all right and they're going to fit inside this little journal cover yeah I think 10 pages is probably enough um, if you're going to hand stitch it in then you could perhaps put a few more in but I'm going to be lazy and do my sew down on the machine with mine okay so that in theory now needs to fit in there like that which it does it all fits in nicely so that when we've sewed it when we've attached the spine this journal will go in our book in the ring binder the, the eyelets will be there and we'll open the pages this way to work on so that's absolutely fine so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to glue on my spine now I know that it fits make sure we've got a nice crease in there I'm going to use my three in one just to make sure it stays together so I'm just going to put some glue on here yeah I tried to have a look for the most grungiest papers that I had in my stash I mean I could have used the um, papers from the kits really but I've, I haven't got any thicker paper to print it on so I wanted something a bit thicker okay so you're going to put your spine on and you're going to butt the edge of the spine right up so it fits you know it fits snugly I'm going to butt it right up like that okay so there we go these will all be decorated later on uh, in the you know when we've moved on a little bit and then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put my eyelets in so I want my template to measure um, which one is it we need the inside covers don't we we don't want it to be bigger than is it that one um, I can't remember whether she used that template or this template to I think it was this one I don't think it matters as long as how high is that one it's just no it was the front cover because it just fits inside right okay so you want your cover to use as your template and I'm just gonna leave I'm just gonna try and leave a little bit I'm just trying to I just want to make sure that I'm I think that's right I'm sure that's what Wendy did that's gonna fit on the inside isn't it right we're gonna go for it so I want my pen I'm gonna just put, just put my markings there so I'm gonna get my crocodile whatever it's called I want the biggest hole so I'm gonna put my holes in one and there's two so let's put our eyelets in where are they put them here oops okay so let's put them in one in there and one in there right let's get my setter that way oops right there's one yep yeah, that's gone through and then this one yep yeah, so there we go so that's going to go on our ring binder and then our journals are going to be stitched in the, that way so that they will open now it's as you can see there it's sticking out a tiny little bit so what I might do because that will annoy me it's obviously just where I've folded the pages I think I'm going to just trim it down 
because that will annoy me if it doesn't bother you then just leave it but I'm just going to get rid of them little bits of paper there and they're not sticking out I think it's just when you fold your papers you know when you put them inside yeah but if it doesn't bother you then leave it let's have a look if that's any better yeah that's better I can't see them now so I'm happy with that so that's one so we'll do the others and then I will we'll sew them if you've not got a sewing machine obviously then you can just stitch them in like you would with any other signature in a journal so that's that one so they're really nice aren't they let me just make sure that's going to fit in our cover yeah fits perfect so I'm happy with that yeah right so I'm going to use that as a template again right let me just grab the next one then okay so I'm going to just put that there a minute I'm going to fold my pages again how are we all doing guys I hope you're all okay we've actually got a little bit of sunshine today thank goodness I opened the blinds this morning and hooray there was no rain we've got a nice bit of sunshine today so yeah I feel a bit better <laughs> um, I've not really been doing very much I am working on another journal off camera for a friend that I want to pass for a birth uh, pass on to her for a birthday so I've been doing a little bit of that now and again just picking it up and putting it down um, I've been doing quite a bit of planning for this uh, steampunk journal, yeah. But I'm really enjoying this. It's something very different, but I'm really liking it. Really liking it. So, yep. All that. Okay, so there's our papers. Let's just put them together then. And we'll have a real grungy one at the front. And then that, that one. No. let's put that one at the front because it's the darkest I like the, the darker ones um, that one that one yeah I thought um, when I was cutting them down I thought I'd cut them wrong because they didn't look big enough but then yeah when I measured them and had a look properly it made sense I have watched Wendy's tutorials I don't know how many times just to make sure I know what I'm doing because I don't want to be coming on trying to tell you something and I haven't got a clue what I'm doing right so which side do I want for my outside that grungy side so again we're going to fold over leaving about an inch again where's my ruler it doesn't have to be perfect but I'd like to think that a little tiny bit more If you want to measure it, then measure it. I think that's about an inch. Yeah, roughly. Okay, that'll do. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. As long as it's not wider than your cover. Where's my cover? It's going to be that way, isn't it? Yeah, that's going to be fine. So again, we're going to fold our spine piece in half. She says. Okay. Is that it's not folded properly there? It's annoying me. Right, okay, so let's put the glue on here. Which way around are we having that? Um, yeah, the writing's the right way. I thought the writing was the wrong way. Right, let's put some glue on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow Wendy's tutorial. But I'm going to add some more paper. We've got some envelopes that I'm going to do. Uh, and then I'm going to add some more pages into mine as well. I'm going to make it a bit bigger. Well, not bigger, but a bit more stuff in it. 
uh, yeah so just make sure that you've got it on properly before you press it down glue everywhere let me just get a piece of tissue yeah I'm going to put a few more pages in mine than what Wendy put in hers so that's entirely up to you you can put as many or as few pages as you want to put in why is that bubbling up there where's my roller oh I'm sticking to the tissue oh just make sure it's glued down before I put the eyelets in so once I've put them in right so we're going to measure again of glue there let me just get a wipe because I don't want it to stick all over the cover right let's measure this again then now let's put this in fact what I'm going to use is the other one just to make sure that I get them the same Yeah, we'll use this one. That'll make more sense, won't it? Pen. I'm just going to put my circles in again. Okay. Right, so let's just put some holes in then. There, that side. That's one. Come on, a little bits get stuck inside. And there's two. Right, let's get some eyelets then. I hope that's I hope that's straight. Yes it is. <laughs> I'm not very good with straight. And as you know, I'm not a measurer, so yeah, I'm just doing the best I can here. Okay, let's just set them eyelets then. Yep. And this one. Okay, so there's that one. Right, where's our little journal? Let's just have a look if that needs trimming down. Oh no, that one's okay. See, that one fits in fine there. So there's the second one. So let's do the third one. I've got tissue stuck to my hands. Get off. Right, okay, third one. Let's fold these papers first. You know, if you want to put lead, depending on the theme of your journal, if you want to put a ledger paper in or a you know book page or whatever, I'm just keeping mine plain because with it being a steampunky style. I just thought it would be nice to have the three journals because the papers are going to be really grungy that I'm using. It would be nice to have these three journals to, you know, to journal in whoever gets the journal. But, you know, you could add some book pages or you know, uh, ledger paper. You can add whatever you want into your little journals. You can fold them however you want, you know, if you want to fold them and have little you know could have little tucks either side but I don't I just want to put journal pages in it just like this you know I mean you could, could even cut some papers down and have smaller papers but I'm just going to keep mine like this this time anyway maybe if I did another one if I did a botanical or something I'd put some book pages and you know different other bits in there I think right so we'll have that one that one She's really good at explaining things, Wendy, really talks you, you know, really easy to understand, really good tutorial to follow. Um, she'll probably be much better than I am. <laughs> but like I said, I have watched the videos a few times, so I'm trying my best. Um, yeah, I think, I'm, I think it's going okay at the moment. Okay, so that is them. Right, now we're going to, which side do I want? I want that grungy side for my outside, but there's some writing on there, so we need to fold that way. So again, just try and guess your inch. Just 
a little bit too much. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Down with my bone folder. And then I've got my other little spine here. I'd probably say try and score it down the middle before if you've got really thick scrapbooking paper like me because you can see there I've not folded it right and that will annoy me as well so I'll have to try and fix that. Yeah that will really annoy me if I don't get that straight. Yeah that'll be fine. Right let's put some glue on here then. Are we the right way? Yeah. I did a big session of tea dyeing the other day. It was like a production line. My hubby was helping me as well. And then he, bless him, he stood there and ironed it all for me after it had all dry. Yeah. Okay, so put that on your spine. Where's that baby wipe? Okay, where's my roller? Let's just roll over it and make sure it's all stuck down nicely. Oops, that's coming up. Fabric tapper, three in one glue all over my desk. That's really sticky now because it's oozed out of the yuck. Hopefully it'll dry okay. I'll have to leave it out to dry for a little bit, that one. Right, okay, so which way around are we? That way, so let's get our journal and just measure again. Make sure we get them all the same. Okay. So it's not too long, really, that has it. It's only took about 20 minutes, yeah? Um, like I said, it would have added a lot of time onto it, me cutting papers on camera, and I don't think you want to sit and watch me do that, do you? Um, I will leave the measurements, like I said. You can always go back and look at the video anyway, can't you, if you want to? Yeah, that one there. One. Two. That's it. Two. Right, two more eyelets. Shut them now, I don't need them anymore. Oh, that's all sticky, that page. I hope it dries okay. Otherwise, I'll have to do another one. Okay, let's just set them eyelets. Okay, so there's that one. Let's have a look at our journal and see whether we need to trim any. No, that one fits absolutely perfect as well in there. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to pause the camera. I'm just going to bring in my sewing machine. In fact, I probably don't need to pause the camera, do I? I'm only going to stitch right down the centre, so I'll just leave the camera running. Um, yeah, I'll do that. Let me just grab make a little bit of space I just want to make sure that I get them right down the middle oh just bring in my machine now the angle that my sewing machine's at you're only going to see the back of the paper coming out I'm sorry about that it's just the way my camera's positioned on my desk but I won't be long anyway I'm only going to sew right down the middle I just want to make sure I get them bang on in the middle which is always a worry <laughs> Um, how do I know if it's in the middle? Right. I think that's it. I hope so, guys. I'm going to do a straight stitch. Oh, I'm nervous. Right, here it goes. Right, there's one. 
that's right when I fold it over and let's get the second one okay okay let's try this one fingers crossed guys <laughs> out the way and let's have a look if I've done a half decent job I hope so right let's just cut off this cotton I don't back stitch I never do okay so right that looks to be okay doesn't it yeah so that's going to go in our rings like that let's have a look at this one Enough. I've never touched a sewing machine in my life before I started with my journals I didn't have a clue in fact my husband is the one he's much better he threads it all and everything for me yeah but I do like having a play on it yeah so that's okay isn't it so they'll go in our rings like that and then they'll open like that to write on I'm just trying to think if you could I suppose if you put it that way it'd be underneath wouldn't it so yeah so that's that one and let's have a look at this one okay yeah that's fine so there we go then guys there's our three little journals let's make sure they're going to fit nicely in between our front and back covers yeah they are they're going to fit just perfect in there like that oh i'm so excited now to carry on with this journal so there we go then guys like i said i will try and remember to leave the dimensions in the description box for you um, if you've got any questions feel free to ask me and i'll always reply at some point it might not be straight away but i will get back to you so as always thank you so much for stopping by to watch please come along and join me if you're not already subscribed to my channel and if you do don't forget to hit that little bell which will notify you when i upload any new videos so until our next video back guys take care